Paris, the city of lights, a city of great tradition, inspiring architecture, and rich history. But when the lights go down and the sun comes up, you find another attraction in Paris, the people. Here, between the four stanchions of the Eiffel Tower, for instance, you find people from the four corners of Paris, of Europe, and beyond. They converge on the city to see the many sights. The Arc de Triomphe, the Champs-Élysées, the Louvre, and the Eiffel Tower, all symbols known throughout the world. We'll add to that one more international symbol that is now in France, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse? Oui, Mickey Mouse, oui. There is no international language here, except perhaps for the universal recognition of the mouse from Southern California. Mickey Mouse, yeah. It's a great power on children, but also on, uh, on, uh, on every people. Few people could have escaped the barrage of advertising touting the April 12th opening of Mickey's Euro Disneyland. We've seen lots of things in the magazines and the newspapers and on TV too. The intellectuals have been poo-pooing the very American theme park, but the people on the street, no matter what street, are enthusiastic. These Italian students, this Romanian artist, these Spanish girls and this Parisian family all agree Disneyland is a welcome addition to France. Disneylandia. Disneyland. Ah, c'est bien. Euro Disneyland en France, oui. Il va bientôt ouvrir. Despite a much smaller than expected opening day crowd, it is expected the crowds will grow continuously, and Mickey's popularity soar even higher. And even those who did not welcome Mickey will be unable to ignore the benefits of his new home here.